Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are having a great day today. So here is a problem we want to solve. Say so solve by completing square and applying the square root property. Z square minus 4z plus 26 is equal to 0. So first thing we will move the 26 to the right hand side of the equation. So since um, let's write this equation again. Z square minus 4z plus 20, 26 is equal to zero. Now we will subtract 26 on both sides. What you do on one side of the equation, you do on the other side too. So we get z square minus 4z plus 26 and minus 26 can cancel on the left-hand side and you are left with a minus 26 on the right-hand side. Now to complete the square, you will add a term n, which is a square, okay? Which will be a square term on the left-hand side and on the right side. So we write, first we write z square minus 4z plus n is equal to minus 26 plus n. Again, what you did on the left-hand side, that is added n, you added on the right-hand side. Now this n has to be a square, in, square term. So how do you do that? So n is written as half of, actually half of the coefficient of z on the left hand side which is negative 4 so half minus 4 and that has to be square because it's a square term so what is it then n is equal to minus 4 divided by 2 square so n is equal to my uh, 2 goes into 4 2 times so it is minus 2 square what does it mean it means minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 one more time so 2 minus 2 now you know 2 minus sign when multiplied together becomes positive so 2 times 2 is 4 so thus we have z square z square minus 4z plus n is 4 is equal to minus 26 plus 4 on the right hand side. Now the left hand side we can write as z square minus 2 times 2 times z plus 4, we can write as 2 square. Remember I told you 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 square. Now 4 minus 26, the number 26 is larger than 4. So actually from 26, you subtract 4, which makes it 22. But since the larger number originally has a negative sign, the answer 22 will also have a negative sign. Okay. Now, Remember the perfect square formula is a plus, sorry, in this case, it will be a minus b times a minus b square is equal to a minus b times a minus b. If you follow this, it will be a square minus b a times minus a b or uh, foil so first term is a, a square outside term a times minus b is minus a b inside term minus b times a is also minus a b and then the last term minus two minuses make this a positive 
plus b square. So ultimately, this is reduced to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a minus b square, perfect square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. That uh, creates some space. Okay. So if you compare, compare with this, uh, compare a minus b square, compare with the expression on the left-hand side of the equation. On the left-hand side of the equation. Side of the given equation. Which is z square minus 2 z times another 2 is all minus another 2 plus 2 square <clears throat> so here z is equal to a and 2 is equal to b so basically this is on the left hand side is z, which is a z minus 2, which is b square is equal to minus 22. Okay. So this is completing the square on the left hand side. Now use the square root property. Use the square root property. Root property. Okay. So we'll take the square root of z minus 2 square is equal to square root of minus 22. But it will be a plus as well as a minus in front of the square root. Why? Because if you take minus square root of minus 22 and multiply that by minus square root of minus 22, you will get two minuses make it positive. You will get inside the square root minus 22 square which is nothing but minus 22. So minus is a possibility too. That's why we have plus as well as a minus. Now, this can be simplified. Square root of a square, com square quantity is the quantity by itself. Z minus 2 is equal to plus minus square root of minus 22. Now, this also can be written as z minus 2 equal to plus minus square root of 22 times square root of minus 1. <laughs> now, square root of minus 1. So, if I create some space here. Okay, so let's go back. So square root of minus 1 is equal to i, which is the imaginary number. So do not quit right away, okay? I have some important hint at the end of this. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this presentation. Also, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, where I've solved all kinds of algebra problem just for you. So please subscribe to my channel. Please check out all the algebra problems under the playlist algebra problems that I've solved for you. Okay. 
So this will be then on the left hand side z minus 2 is equal to plus minus square root of 22 and square root of minus 1 is i, the imaginary number. So now we add 2 on both sides because we want to isolate or separate z from the rest because I'm going to solve for z. So z is equal to minus 2 and plus 2 cancel on the left hand side and on the right hand side you have 2 plus minus square root of 22i. So this is your final solution. Okay. And so I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, do not hesitate to write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Okay. And please uh, do not miss me tomorrow when I'll be back with another algebra problem, another solution. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care and see you next time.